Okay class, today we're going to be talking about parallel lines and angle relationships. And the first thing we need to do is write down a couple of, def a couple of definitions. So the first word we have is transversal. Now, a transversal is a line that crosses two or more other lines. So, over here, I have two lines that are parallel and a transversal will be this line that crosses these two. So I want you to write down this definition and underline transversal and then draw this picture with the arrow pointing to the transversal and label it. Okay, so the next definition we're going to do is interior angles. And interior angles are angles inside the parallel line. So, I'm gonna ang I'm gonna label all side all of my interior angles with an I. So this is an interior angle. This is an interior angle. This is an interior angle, and this is an interior angle. Okay. So the next definition we're gonna do is exterior angles. Exterior angles are angles outside the lines. So I'm going to label all my exterior angles with the letter E. So I have one of them here, one of them here, another one here, and another one there. Okay, for my next definition, I want to draw myself a new set of parallel lines with the transversal. And our word and our definition is going to be alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are angles Alternate interior angles are angles on the inside of the parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. So, I'm going to label two of my alternate interior angles and I'm going to label them with an AI. So, this is one of my alternate interior angles, and this is an alternate interior angle. These two together are alternate interior angles. Okay, our next definition is alternate exterior angles. And alternate exterior angles are 
exterior angles on opposite sides of the transversal. So, once again, if this is my parallel lines with the transversal, my alternate exterior angles, and I'm going to label them with an uh, A, A, E, this angle and this angle. These two together are alternate exterior angles. Okay, our last definition is corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are angles in the same position on the on the same side of the transversal so I'm going to label my corresponding angles with the letter C so if I pick two corresponding angles, this angle and this angle together are corresponding angles because they're in the same position on the same side of the transversal. Okay, let's say we are given these parallel lines cut by this transversal and it's labeled angled 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's classify some of these angles in this transversal. So if I'm looking at my alternate interior angles, my alternate interior angles would be angles three and five. So angle three is equal to angle five because they are alternate interior angles. And, angles four, and angle four is equal to angle six because they are alternate interior angles. Now, Let's go to our alternate exterior angles. My alternate exterior angles would be angles one and seven because both of them are on the outside and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So angle one is equal to angle seven and two and eight. So angle two is equal to angle eight. And lastly, we have our corresponding angles. So, my corresponding angles would be angle 1 and angle 5. Angle 4 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 6. And angle 3 and angle 7. For your practice problems, what we would like for you to do is to look at this set of parallel lines with the transversal and list under the three categories which angles fall into those categories. So which angles are alternate interior angles, which angles are alternate exterior angles, and which angles are corresponding angles. And once you have done that, please take a picture of it and turn it in using the turn it in feature in Edmodo attached to the assignment where you found the video.